already just from my character there uh, being a little fluffy boy uh, what's our favorite thing? let's say relaxation um, yeah, I also have a mod that turns all the NPCs into furries as well In this case, it works out because uh, 
also like to start by making a chest as well, which is, I think, 50 wood. So let's gather up the materials, because for the start of the game here, you only get these 12 spaces. And uh, I'm a bit of a hoarder, so I don't like leaving anything behind or anything like that. So I like to just get the chest right away, that way I don't have to, like, you know, miss anything. Yeah. So, I don't know what kind of things that we're gonna need for the community center, because it's, I think, day six or day seven that uh, it actually opens up and you can see what you need for the first bundle anyway. So, um, I guess we're just gonna start by planting a bunch of parsnips for now. And, um, that way, because they take, uh, six days to be ready. Oops. Six days to be ready, and, um, So cute. So, um, I thought that. Oh, I'm almost out of energy. I thought that it would be really fun to, uh, to name some of our animals and stuff after. Six days, 
or whatever. So whatever money we make from this, we can spend on whatever we actually need for the community center. So yeah, super easy. They grow super fast. Um, yeah, so
pretty intuitive, honestly, so I don't think it'll take me too much time. Um, I really, oh geez, enjoy this game. Um, and I'm not, like, huge into simulation games either. Um, I find most of them to be a little bit, um, uh, what's the word? Um, before we go to bed tonight, I'm just gonna do a little bit more exploring. Actually, no. Let's see who's, uh, hanging out around town. See if we can meet some more people. Um, I find that most games get kind of, like, monotonous after a while, or, like, they're not very streamlined, so that, like, after a certain point in the game, like, everything starts to feel like it takes really long, and you kind of get, like, sick of that. But I feel like this game, like, everything's just so, like, I don't know, I feel like the game developer is just very conscious of, like, how people play these games, and he just, like, really does a good job of making everything feel, like, really fun to play, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but, um, you know, there's always so much to do, and, like, you never have to, like, force yourself to do anything. You can kind of just do whatever you want. Hey, kid, the name's Pam. That's Pam. She's pretty awesome. Uh, here's Gus, and he's a sweetheart. Well, hello there, I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drops Land. Um, I love this guy, Emil. Um, Emily in the normal version. Uh, oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the slant. That's where I work. I love this guy's avatar, or portrait, I guess they're called here. Um, Gravelly did a great job with the, all the portraits in this game. Ah, oh, Clint. I love Clint, too. <laughs> er, hi, I'm Clint. He's the blacksmith. This is Shane. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? He's a bit of the, uh, a bit of a, like, kind of like a tough exterior, but he's kind of really sweet. Um, yeah, I guess I don't have too much to say about, uh, all the different characters because I, I just kind of, like, love them all. I don't know. There's no one that's, like, really, I don't know. Oh, I should equip my scythe. All very sweet and like lovable and fun. So yeah. So I'm okay with whoever you guys want to marry. The only bachelor I guess I'm not like crazy about is uh, Alex, and he's kind of like the jock or whatever. But you know, he's a furry now. Uh, he's like some sort of tiger. So um, you know, I can be a little bit shallow because it's a game, and we can just marry him for his looks, whatever. So. You know, whoever you guys want to marry, uh, I will follow through on that. So let's hop inside. Oh, we should turn on our fireplace here. Oosh, some ambiance. And let's go to bed for the night. Do 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 do. We leveled up our foraging. So pretty much everything you need, everything you do in this game.
also made it so that uh, the community center can be completed within the first year, which is something new that they added as well. Because normally, if you do the community center, there's a couple things, or at least one that I can think of right now, where basically um, you have to get it on a traveling cart, which is like a totally random chance. So it's not guaranteed that you'll actually get it within your first year. The traveling cart only comes on Fridays and Sundays. So I imagine that the the box that you check that says it can be completed on the first year, I imagine that it just pretty much guarantees like anything you would need to buy it from the traveling cart, you would encounter it. As long as I it that way, but we'll see, we'll see. So, uh, here's Willie, a little cat scene. He's gonna give us his old rod. <laughs> That's a Pokemon term, I think. Oh, what is it called in this game? Bamboo rod. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. I can't do a Scottish accent or anything, but I imagine that's what he would sound like, so just trying to picture that. <laughs> I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Oh, that's awesome. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive, and hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. So, I get the feeling that this rod will catch us more than uh, just a magic herb, which is nice. Bamboo pole. Wow, I'm actually surprising myself with how much I'm remembering. <laughs> There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. That's true, there's a lot of fish to catch. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> that's what my old papa used to say anyway. Well, that's probably true. Fish do not uh, particularly smell good.
there's like certain spots where basically you can get like better quality fish um, if you fish from them. I think there's a spot down here somewhere. Usually it's like kind of obvious, like a little offshoot or something like that. But I'm not sure if I remember where many of them are. There's a little abandoned house there, which uh, you'll find out what that's all about later. And there's also a wizard that lives up here. And uh, he's pretty cool. Oh, wow, poor trash. Whoopsies. Excuse me while I just cast my line into the dirt here. You know what? Let's fish. Uh, actually, I think you can only catch like garbage in this uh, spot here. But let's fish for real before I get distracted again. And I'll show you guys how the fishing works in this game. Let's do it right here. Um, we said hi to you already. No, we didn't. Hello, neighbor. Hello, neighbor. That's a game, isn't it? I love our little foxy paws here. Um, so, basically, the goal is to keep the fish behind the bar um, every time you press the action button. Oh my god, that's a sunfish! Well, I guess we should go grab that quest then. Because that'll give us some good money and friendship points if we do that. I thought the sunfish was a little more hard to come by. So. Um, ah, Sam. Hello. I like Sam. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. It's good to meet you too, Sam. Uh, who was it that wanted the sunfish? I think that was Pam, which would be super easy because she's always in the in the bar. But yeah, so voila. Let's fish in the river here then for a bit. You can also check these uh, trash cans. Sometimes you get some good stuff from them, but uh, you gotta be careful because if people see you doing that, they'll be like, "Ew, that's really gross." Which is, you know, that's fair, I guess. <gasps> Oh, I forget what this guy's name is, but, uh, in, in the normal version, her name's Abigail, and she's really cool. But, um, yeah, the last time I played this game, uh, you know, for a long period of time, uh, was when the new update came out, so the free mod was not yet, um, compatible with that version. So I played for a while without knowing, or without like uh, the free mods, so they're kind of still, I've kind of forgotten. Albert. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving onto that old farm. Yeah. You're a dragon, that's really cool. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Yeah. Very mysterious, I like them. Yeah, so I'm not sure if when you get caught uh, rummaging through trash cans, I'm not sure if that actually decreases like your friendship points with them or not. But uh, I just try to avoid that because, you know, it's kind of embarrassing, I guess. Avatar. I work part time, I guess, a saloon. It pays the bills. Yeah, that's a 
someone who just moved in. I'm Marcus. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Yeah, me too. You're super cool. Yeah, so... Let's head back to the farm because I'm out of inventory space already. And I guess we can spend the rest of the day just like a
glasses um, are not really worth anything right now, but later we get a recycling machine and they can turn into like uh, refined quartz and stuff, which is used for crafting later. So, um, what I'm gonna do is put this in my inventory when I go to sleep tonight. That way I will remember um, to visit Gunther tomorrow, who's the museum uh, curator. this if I can figure out how there we go and where should we put this not there uh there like a little welcome mat um let's flip this chair around because I don't know I like it like that whoops and you know you can have different things on this table and stuff you get like really nice furniture and stuff. Oh my goodness, I did that again. Okay, there you go. So, um, you know, I really like, oh, we need to go to bed. Uh, you know, messing around with my home and it gets bigger as well when you upgrade it. So there's like lots of like fun little interior design stuff that you can do later on. But anyway, and uh, on the third day. I think we're gonna leave this here. So, um, thank you guys so much for